just today, Patrick Long Gong, the pioneer of Hong Kong New Wave cinema, died in his home on Staten Island at the age of 79. Today at Sinovision English Channel, we'll be taking one last look at this incredible filmmaker, his achievements, and the impact he left on the world of cinema. I am a Cantonese picture reformer. I really work very hard to make better quality film, but not just get into the market and grab the money and run. I make films not only by entertaining them, but also that I hope I can influence them to pay attention to the social issue. These films would not have happened. Born in 1935 in Hong Kong, Long Gong is best known for having acted in 60 films between 1958 and 2002, and for writing and directing 14 films, beginning with his directorial debut, Prince of Broadcasters, in the 1960s. His most famous directorial works included The Story of a Discharged Prisoner, Teddy Girls, Hiroshima 28, and Yesterday, Today, Tomorrow. Although his name is not well known outside of Hong Kong, it was his innovative works that inspired the Hong Kong New Wave directors known worldwide today. Most of the new generation of Hong Kong filmmakers know that Patrick Long Kong is the man who started this whole new style of filmmaking. You can look at his films and make a very direct link to, to contemporary styles. I think that Patrick Long Kong was ahead of his time. And when he was making these films, they were kind of disregarded and dismissed by, by most audiences. Uh, but he was incredibly influential then on, on cinephiles and, and young generation that was growing up and being exposed to cinema and wanted to become filmmakers themselves. When Long Gong began directing, Mandarin language films dominated even in Cantonese-speaking regions, and Cantonese films in general were looked down upon as being of low quality. Long Gong sought to reshape this image of Cantonese cinema, and he used it as a medium to address relevant social issues. Uh, you know, Mandarin language films were really dominating the industry, but he decided to really focus on Cantonese language cinema and to tell stories about, you know, kind of working class, lower class uh, people and gangsters. He is really the seed that Cantonese cinema in the 70s and 80s sprouted from. And his films don't just capture what Hong Kong used to look like and be like uh, photographically, they capture the spirit. This summer, the Museum of the Moving Image celebrated Long Gong's career with a retrospective film screening series showcasing eight of his films, plus a remake of one of his films by John Woo and Choi Hark. At the series launch on August 15th, Subway Cinema awarded Long Gong the New York Asian Film Festival Lifetime Achievement Award. Patrick Long Kong has not been appreciated as much as he should be in this country. You know, his name should just be, be there in the list of great Hong Kong directors of all time. With his numerous achievements finally recognized, Patrick Long Kong's name will take its rightful place in Hong Kong and world cinematic history. Reporting for Sinovision Journal, I am Lonnie Nelson.